What, 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 what's happening, guys? It's your boy C D Woods here, and today we're gonna be talking about the more freaking erosion, right, right? I mean, good night, this guy. First three games, forty-six points, and then two thirty-point plus games. Dude, shooting like over fifty percent. So, like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make us some MVP hype video on the for the fifth game of the season. You know, you know, you got the most unbiased quality assumptions here <laughs> but yeah we're gonna be talking about uh De DeRozan my my MVP hype for DeMar DeRozan because it's only the third game of the season and this dude is performing like one of the best shooting guards in the NBA right now so yeah now that I've explained what the video is and how I'm gonna be talking about how DeMar DeRozan's the greatest shooting guard ever he's uh, freaking the Kobe, the the Bryants, you know. So yeah, now I've explained what this video is going to be about and how Demar Derozan is going to be MVP and become the Kobe the Bryant. I think we should just, you know, jump headfirst into it and uh, yeah, let's just uh, freaking go. All right, so the first thing I want to talk about that many of you might not even know about Demar Derozan, he is obviously shooting more than thirty points a game. Ta-da! Bet you didn't know that. But hey, for real, he, this dude is like on a absolute tear right now. And something you might not have actually really known is in the uh, conf Eastern Conference Finals when he was playing the Cavaliers, he shot 50% that whole series. So people have been talking about how he isn't clutch in the playoffs, but the dude shot 50% against the Cavs when he either had J.R. Smith or LeBron guarding him most of the time. So, I mean... I don't get why people are saying that he isn't clutch in the playoffs because, I mean, gosh, even though we didn't win that, uh, we didn't win the Eastern Conference Finals, we he still shot great. Him and Lowry both almost completely just led our team to a six-game loss against the eventual NBA champions and probably one of the greatest players of all time. He's definitely a top three player in the NBA of all time. That's obviously in LeBron James, not DeMar DeRozan right now. But I'm sure by the time DeMar DeRozan retires, he'll be better than Michael Jordan, LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, Will Chamberlain. I can keep this list going on. But yeah, so now that I have his basketball reference point, I just want to go over like how he's actually playing um, really good defense for the Raptors. I'm looking at his defensive rating, and with defensive rating, obviously an estimate of points allowed per 100 possessions. And he only has 104, and before the last game, it was a 98. And he's got a 116 offensive rating, which is obviously how many points he's making per 100 possessions. So, I mean, and he has a 116 offense and a 104 defensive rating. So, I think that defensive rating is actually pretty good. And it's the lowest of his, of his career right now. Last year, he was putting up a 108, but I think he's playing really good defense right now. Obviously, this defense isn't Jimmy Butler level, as Jimmy Butler is producing like a 101. But Jimmy Butler is a small forward right now, actually. Um, James Harden is producing a 109, and Clay Thompson is actually surprisingly putting up like a 116 defensive rating, which isn't good. So right now, he's one of the better defensive shooting guards in the NBA on defensive rating, which is definitely, it depends on what team you're on, but still, it's I'm still going to look at that and use that as my argument because I'm biased. Wait, no I'm not. The funny thing about DeMar DeRozan scoring 35 points a night is he hasn't made a three in the NBA season yet. He's shooting one a night. And hasn't made one yet. And he's still shooting 54% from the field. While shooting 26 shots a night. So that's a pretty big number. I mean, I'm looking to look at his usage rating. Which is, oh, it's a 37.8. Which is his, high, his highest by far in his career. But I mean, it's getting us wins. And he's just putting up insane numbers. And really, he's looking like the best player by far on the Toronto Raptors. Really looking like an MVP caliber type. I mean, 35 points a night. While getting five rebounds and all the assists, all that 1.3 assists. <laughs> I mean, offensively, right now, DeMar DeRozan is one of the best scorers in the NBA, and he's not even doing it without a three. So, I mean, while we're going to have the Russell Westbrook, the Anthony Davis, and the Kawhi Leonard on top, most likely Anthony Davis and Russell Wil Westbrook, not Wilson, Russell Westbrook, are already pretty much out of the picture because. Usually, as Mike Rizema says, it's given to the best players on the best teams, which is usually like a top two team, and we're probably going to be the second or first in the Eastern Conference. So, DeMar DeRozan getting this as a surprise award and him doing extremely well is definitely like a story. Like, this could actually be a surprise MVP going into the season. I don't know how many people expected it, but I mean, 
This dude is playing extremely well for not even using the three-point line. I mean, goodness. I mean, the overuse of the three-point line has become a staggering rate to see someone not using it and dominating the league right now is crazy. So I definitely think the more these uh, Kobe Bryant comparisons come along, the more popularity he's going to get. And the more possible, not only is going to be an All-NBA, could get MVP votes. Now, obviously, you've got the, the LeBron, the Kawhi, and the Russell going to be ahead of him. But he could surprise a lot of people and be in the top five. And if he has a great season, you know, some people things happen, this dude could actually win the whole dang thing if he keeps playing the way he is. So I don't think it's a surprise that we should be considering DeMar DeRozan as an MVP caliber player. He's the best shooting guard right now. I mean, obviously that's a little stretch to think of. It's, but if I said this, Two years ago, y'all thought I'm crazy, but now that, I mean, Clay Thompson, he ain't doing anything. Offensively, he has a 98 offensive rating, which is terrible. I mean, the Warriors aren't on track to do anything. Clay Thompson isn't playing anywhere like he should be. And James Harden, I mean, people are always going to hate on James Harden. People are always going to like James Harden. They're going to overrate and underrate him at the same time. But I think right now, DeMar DeRozan is outplaying every shooting guard in the league and is proving that he's probably the best. Jimmy Butler's a small forward, and if we're going to consider James Harden a point guard, I mean, either way, I mean, I think DeMar DeRozan is just leading it right now, and I don't know how many times I've said this, so right, I'm going to stop repeating myself in just different ways and end the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>